Goldman Sachs has recently mentioned that they are going to hire more than 2500 engineers by end of 2023. Goldman Sachs has recently opened a new center in Hyderabad location and, and they are on a hiring surge and they have opened up opportunities for the batch of 2022 and 2023. Go ahead and check out the link in the description below and apply for the same if you are passing out in 2022 or 2023. 2023 there are internship opportunities, 2022 ke liye there are full time opportunities. Hi everyone, this is Ashko. So today we are going to talk about Goldman Sachs. Ke bare mein. Complete process we are going to discuss about Goldman Sachs starting from its profiles that it offers for freshers. Uske baad we'll discuss about the CTC breakup along with that we'll discuss the on-campus hiring process, off-campus hiring process, off-campus opportunities, kab kab aati hai Goldman Sachs ki, what are some of the preparation tips, how you should prepare for aptitude and along with that we'll discuss something about the work culture and work-life balance at Goldman Sachs and the amount of work that you'll be doing when you will be getting hired by the company. But before that, there is an opening for Goldman Sachs right now for the batch of 2022 and 2023. For the batch of 2022, it's a full-time opportunity. For the batch of 2023, it's an internship opportunity. And it is open to all colleges, all branches, and everybody can apply for the same. There's no restriction on college, no restriction on branch, no uh, gender criteria, nothing is there. You can just go ahead and apply on the link that I'm giving in the description below. Don't forget to apply as soon as possible for this opportunity and for those campuses in which Goldman Sachs visits so they can apply through their on-campus process that would be more beneficial. Before starting with today's video, I would like to mention that I have also made some amazing content for other companies like Walmart, like Flipkart, like Uber, American Express. So you can go ahead and check out these playlists as well and you will find some amazing insights if these companies are going to visit your campus. and. This can help you gain knowledge about what is the entire interview process, what are some of the important questions. And I've also given some previous year questions to all these companies that I've made a review on. Before starting with today's video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends for more and more such amazing content coming ahead. So talking about Goldman Sachs, Goldman Sachs is one of the amazing multinational investment bank and a financial services company in America. And they hire people in India for the technology centers located in Bangalore as well as in Hyderabad. They have recently opened. So start with which profiles that Goldman Sachs offers to its fresh so for internship like people who will be applying for internship they'll be getting the role of summer analyst so they call it a summer analyst intern and it's generally of two months to be conducted in the month of june and july next year and for the full-time role they hire people for the role of tech analyst and these tech analysts are further divided into different divisions of Goldman Sachs like global markets or something else so these are some of the profiles that generally Goldman Sachs give to uh, freshers so let's talk about the CTC and stipend that Goldman Sachs offer. When we talk about the CTC, so Goldman Sachs has this peculiar thing that they differentiate between the CTC of a person who has passed out from IITs with a person who has passed out from any other college. So if you are passing out from an IIT, so Goldman Sachs will pay you 32 lakhs per annum as a CTC. But if you're passing out from any other college, maybe it's an NIT or DTU or BITS or any other college throughout India, you will be offered a package of 23 lakhs per annum on campus and if you're applying for off campus it uh, ranges to 21 lakhs per annum generally the joining bonus is not given to people who are applying through off campus placement this has been the trend as they have followed in the last year so talking about the breakup of this 23 lakhs per annum so 23 lakhs per annum out of this 16 is the fixed ctc apart from that you will be getting uh, 4 lakhs retention bonus and 3 lakhs joining bonus that is given to only the on-campus hires so this was the ctc and breakup that goldman sachs offer apart from that for stipend like if you are doing a uh, two months intern at Goldman Sachs here also there's differentiation between IITs and other colleges for IITs you'll be getting a stipend of 1 lakh 25,000 per month and for other colleges you will be getting a stipend of 75,000 per month so this is the general CTC and stipend breakup of Goldman Sachs now so talking about the on-campus hiring process of Goldman Sachs, it generally conducts a test on the platform known as Hacker Rank for on-campus people and in this test you will be getting around 7 to 8 questions of aptitude and a mix of CS fundamentals, 2 to 3 questions uh, coding questions and they will be on a difficult side, I would say medium to hard level lead code questions, not very tough but medium level and one essay type questions will, question will be asked generally related to uh, it might be a, something related to fintech or it might be something related to uh, your behavioral type question so this is the general format of the online test that goldman sachs conduct on campus and after that there are two to three to four rounds 
for different different categories like it depends upon the uh, performance in your interview like how many rounds they'll conduct for different processes talking about the interview processes for goldman sachs on campus so the major focus is on data structures and uh, the questions that have been majorly asked are from strength that the questions are not very typical in interviews they are general questions but with a bit of modification and like they'll frame it in such a way that you will have to figure out which particular algorithm to use apart from that one thing that goldman sachs is famous for asking is puzzles so don't forget to practice puzzles if you're shortlisted for the interview because puzzles play a very important role when you're looking forward to a uh, the interviews at Goldman Sachs because definitely in one or the other round you will be asked two to three puzzles so prepare puzzles well because it's very difficult on the spot to think upon the solution and then answer so and it's it's sometimes it's not very like you can't come to the solution at the same time so you'll have to think you try to uh, go through and practice as many puzzles that are available right now after that there will be an HR round where that will be in general round talking about behavioral questions why you want to be a part of Goldman Sachs also now talking about the off-campus hiring process generally Goldman Sachs from the last year they have been conducting two off-campus drives for all engineering campuses throughout India. So they have named it as Goldman Sachs Engineering Campus Hiring Program. So uh, I have interviewed two to three people who have already got a placement or an internship through Goldman Sachs Engineering Campus Hiring Program. I'll give the link to those interview experiences in the I button and many people have benefited from those interview experiences. So don't forget to check out that as well, but uh, I'll let you know the entire experience that is there. So generally the online tests that they conduct because last year what happened around one lakh people applied for Goldman Sachs engineering campus hiring program out of those one lakh uh, first of all they conduct an aptitude test so aptitude test is such that there are 66 questions to be solved in 90 minutes and the questions are also not easy they are a bit typical uh, i would say of the level of cat right there are different sections in this aptitude round like numerical reasoning numerical aptitude then there's some logical reasoning there are some abstract type questions diagrammatic questions so so if you're watching this video till now don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to this channel so these all formats of questions will be there and these will be divided in certain sections like in numerical aptitude you might have questions related to equations like quadratic equations that you have solved or in your class 12 so the maths of class 12 will be asking numerical aptitude part or then there's logical reasoning where you might be asked about series completion or some uh, puzzles there's one section in which there will be two to three puzzles like one passage and three to four questions based upon that puzzle. around 10 diagrammatic questions based upon different diagrams and you need to interpret them and answer there are two english abstracts also from which you need to defer some things and then you need to answer in those two particular comprehensions so this is basic aptitude round and most of the people are shortlisted through this aptitude round because people are not able to clear this aptitude round due to lack of practice so what i've decided is i will be taking a mock test for Goldman Sachs aptitude round and the questions will be I'll try to get some questions of the previous year and also some similar questions that have been asked and I'll be conducting this uh, test very soon I'll give the link to the description below for registering for this mock test and it's going to be completely free so you can uh, go ahead and check out the link in the description below for the form for Goldman Sachs mock test also so don't forget to those who clear this aptitude test there is a coding test after that in which again the format is similar to the on-campus test there are around seven to eight mcqs there are two coding questions and one essay type question so this test is of a harder level people are not able to solve questions i would say the coding questions are like one question is very hard other two are medium level you can say after that there are interview rounds for interns there were two interview rounds as i have talked to a lot of interns and for full time there can be either two or three interview rounds depending upon uh, your performance in different rounds so all the rounds are conducted on one single day and this is the entire hiring process of goldman sachs that they conduct for engineering campus hiring program so now talking about some of the tips to prepare for goldman sachs so tips i've already told you should be good at aptitude first of all because that is the biggest hurdle that you need to clear so try practicing some aptitude type questions and try giving some mock tests i'll be conducting one mock test i've already mentioned next try to focus on data structures and algorithms not very tough but medium level and apart from that you should uh, read through all the puzzles that are already available on internet so you might be asked some puzzles or some people have also been asked some guesstimate questions so guesstimate questions are such like how many number of buses run from amritsar to chandigarh in a span of 30 minutes 
so or uh, how you can estimate the number of balls that you can put in a complete bus so these are the kind of estimate questions that you need to uh, answer in front of the interviewer so this can also be asked in some rounds in goldman sachs now this was the entire review about goldman sachs what it does what how it hires and uh, what is the preparation stage. now talking about the work culture and work life balance it depends upon from team to team uh, i have also heard that uh, there's a lot of workload inside this company people have to work for uh, quite a number of hours like uh, and it totally depends upon from team to team but the perks that goldman sachs give are also awesome you can shift to the finance section after spending around 2 years in goldman sachs this is also one of the things that if you're interested in finance and wish to get into such a firm so goldman sachs is a perfect firm for you so this was all for this particular video and if you people are like the content don't forget to press the subscribe button share it with your friends and do let me know in the feedback section that what all companies that you're looking forward to or which all companies are visiting your campus i'll try to bring up the entire process for them as well